starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Here it is. Witches and witchcraft. Read it. Witches are said to be women who have made a pact with the devil. In return, they are given the power to cast spells on people, animals, and things. Mostly people. Huh? They mostly cast spells on people. Witches are also said to possess an evil eye. Yeah, on the back of their heads. What? They can see out of the back of their heads. You're crazy. No, they can. In early days, people often cut their fingernails and hid the parings to avoid being bewitched. Although the belief in witches still persists among some backward people, in civilized countries, the superstition has almost disappeared. See? Just what I told you. There are no more witches. They've all disappeared. It didn't say that. It did, too. You want me to read it again? Anyway, who cares what it says in a book? I know what I saw with my own two eyes. What'd you say? I saw... What's the matter? Look, there she is. Who? The witch woman. <laughs> some new dried hyssop leaves for George's rheumatism. Oh. And uh, here's the mint jelly you ordered. Oh, thank you. My, that pickle lily was delicious. Wish I had your recipe. Got my own special way. Ain't nobody on earth could imitate it. <laughs> There's a few things you gotta know ain't in the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose you're right. Boy, if she don't look like the picture of the witch in the book, I'm a monkey's uncle. It's, uh... Getting on toward the full of the moon. About time to look for black mushrooms. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, Lassie about? Well, she should be. Parking Jeff around here a few minutes ago. Uh, here, Lassie, 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 Lassie. Lassie. Oh, here she is. Uh. Some dogs got more sense and more feelings than humans. <laughs> What's she doing with Lassie? Putting the evil eye on her, maybe. Would she do it in daylight? Well, sure. I'll be seeing you, Ellen. <laughs> Tell George not to plant any taters till the frogs croak. I will. Get on, Satan. Bye, Michelle. Bye. Lassie. Lassie, come here. Lassie. Who can you tell she gave her the evil eye? I thought you didn't believe she was a witch. Never mind that. How can you tell? I don't know. Boy, you're a big help. Oh, Jeff, dear, would you do something for me? Sarah Dibbles gave me 20 cents too much change. Would you and Porky ride down to her place and return it to her? Not me. I gotta go home. What, are you chicken? No, I have things to do. Baloney! You're afraid. Afraid of what? He says she's a witch. Who's a witch? Sarah Dibbles. Sylvester Brockway. I didn't say it. Woody Douglas said it. And so did Spite and Bert Pulley. You said it, too. You even said she put the evil eye on Lassie. I did not. I said maybe. Now, let go of my shirt. Sarah Dibbles is no more a witch than I am. And anyway, witches and goblins and ghosts are just figments of people's imagination. They don't really exist. Yes, I know. That's what it says in the encyclopedia. But he won't believe it. Well, I'm, I'm sure he believes it now. Now, here's the 20 cents. When you get back, I'll have some cookies and milk for you. Oh, and Porky, you're going to stay for supper. I'll talk to your mother. Well, you coming? Why do I always have to do everything you do? Nobody said you have to. Have you ever been in her house? Well, no. Have you? No. 
But Woody has. And he told me it's full of snakes and toads and black cats. Well, that's nothing. I've got snakes and toads and cats, too. Yeah, but they're not black. And they didn't used to be people. Who said her cats used to be people? I'm telling you. Well, you're crazy. All right, you wait and see. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. That's all. Come on. Come on where? We gotta give her the 20 cents. Why do we have to give it to her? Why can't you do it alone? You chickening out again. I bet you're chicken. Oh, yeah? I'll bet you wouldn't peek through one of her windows. I would so, if they weren't boarded up. There's one on the side that isn't boarded. Well, all right, I'll peek if you do. Uh, if she catches us, she'll put a spell on us. I'm not afraid. Go on. You're first. I've got to hold the gate. How, how do you get around to the window? You walk. Come on.
Well, maybe I am. I've got a good notion to cast a spell on you, both of you. How would you like me to cast a spell on you? N n no, ma'am. Well, then you better not come snooping around anymore. The next time, I won't wait me not a second. I'll turn you both into cats. Now, get! <laughs> too big and my nails are too short. That's what you get from biting them. I've told you a million times. What good's it gonna do me now? Cut them off your toes. It said fingernails in the book. Jeff, what am I gonna do? Well, don't worry. I've got enough here for both of us. Come on, let's go bury them. Bring a shovel. Are you sure it's all right for me to use your fingernails? Sure. All fingernails look alike. Who can tell the difference? Come on, dig a hole. Where? Here. You didn't believe in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing it in case. In case what? Come on, dig. You're a guy who doesn't believe in it. You sure are nervous. Well, that's deep enough. Now, help me cover him up. Aren't you supposed to say something? What? I got a feeling where you got to say something. You're always just supposed to say something to keep a spell off. What's the matter, boys? Don't you like the lamb? Oh, sure. It's good. Well, then why aren't you eating it? I guess I'm not hungry. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day. Mark that up in the calendar. <laughs> oh, I know what's missing. The mint jelly. Oh, Got all about it. Sarah Dibbles brought some over this afternoon. Spring lamb's good, but... Mint jelly makes it better. Nice fresh mint. No, thanks. Okay. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, go ahead. What has got into you boys? You can eat that, Gramps? Eat what? The mint jelly. Why, sure, why not? Well, it's not good for you. Huh? I it's fattening. Fattening? Sure. Oh, well. Isn't it, Porky? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, well, a few extra pounds ain't gonna hurt me none. <laughs> no, wait! Don't eat it. It's got a curse on it. Jeff, I thought I told you I didn't want any more of that nonsense. What's this all about? They both evidently persuaded themselves that Sarah Dibbles is a witch. <laughs> Where'd she get that idea? She has a cat named Mr. Smith. Well, what's wrong with that? We got a cow named Daisy and a, a dog named Lassie. And she even cooks things with snakes in it. Snakes? Now, Jeff. Now, you listen to me, both of you. I want this to stop right now. Sarah Dibbles is not a witch. There are no witches. How do you know? Because when all of the evidence points a certain way, sensible people accept that evidence. The belief in witches is just a silly superstition. What's a superstition? A belief in something that can't be supported by fact. Like what? Oh, like the idea that a black cat or, or a broken mirror or walking under a ladder can bring bad luck. Or the notion that witches exist and can cast a spell. Well, if something isn't true, why do people make it up? Well, it's a primitive way of thinking. It's, it's easier than facing facts. I still don't want any mint jelly. Me neither. Oh, 
Well, I got chores to do. <clears throat> I hope the goblins don't get me. Ain't you hungry either? Something's wrong with Lassie. What's the matter, girl? Huh? She's sick. Anything happened to her today? Better call Frank Weaver. I wonder what could have happened. She was all right this morning. She licked a spoon at Sarah Dibbles. Oh, Jeff. You thinking what I'm thinking? She's got a spell on her. Oh, hello, Jenny. Ellen. Well, fine, dear. Ring Frank Weaver for me, would you please? Doc Weaver can't do no good. I know it. Miss Dibbles put the spell on and she's got to take it off. Come on, we got to go see her. No? At night? You want Lassie to die? Gosh, no. Well, then we got to go. Okay? Okay. No light showing. Yes, she's out. Wait a minute. Call her first. What for? So she won't think we're snooping. Miss Dibbles! Maybe she went for a walk, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, where you going? Jeff, let's go. Miss Dibbles! Jeff, please. What are you doing that for? Jeff, don't go inside. Miss Dibbles, are you here? You betcha I'm here. I told you not to come snooping around here again. Now I'm going to fix both of you good. What are you going to do to us? And what I said I was going to do, turn you into cats. And then you'll be meowing and a herd around here, just like all the rest of them. That's what comes from snooping. But we weren't snooping. We just came to get help. I'll help you, all right. I'll help you learn a lesson. <laughs> Magic powder, do your worst. Make these boys forever curse. Uh, please, Miss Devils, it's Lassie. She's sick. Lassie? She's got a spell on her. Miss Dibbles, put the spell on me and take it off Lassie. You can even turn me into a cat. Well, how sick is she? She won't eat and she can't walk. Where's she at? Home. <clears throat> well, come on, then. How's Lassie? Pretty sick, Ellen. Jeff, where have you been? We went to get Miss Dibbles. Whoa! Out of my way! Can't tell, sir. Well, there's some things you gotta know ain't in the book. Oh, feeling poorly, ain't you, girl? Fetch me a spoon, boy. Now hold your mouth open. Give her a spoon for every two hours, and as soon as she'll eat, feed her some whites of eggs, beat up easy. Mascara bark, locust eating pine tar. It'll fix her up good. She was nosing around my herb garden, like we picked up some bug poison. She looks better already. Well, I gotta be going. The moon's full. Time for setting our ginger root. Oh, Miss Dibbles. Yeah? I I'm sorry we thought you were a witch. Oh, you want to keep thinking I'm a witch? That's all right. All kids got to play act. But don't you come snooping around looking in windows. You come marching up to the door, or by the great horn tone, I'll turn you both into cats. <laughs> well, that's that. 
That stuff she gave her, was it all right? Fine. Couldn't have done better myself. You follow old Sarah's instructions, Jeff. Night, everybody. Night, Doc. Oh, good Thanks night, a lot. Thank you so much. All right. Boy. Well, I better sweep up in here. Jeff, the broom's out by the barn. Okay, Mom. Room's not out here, Mom. Yes, it is, dear. I put it there myself. Do you see it, Porky? No. 